Okay, in this next video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and animate this robot to do something. All right, um, we're just going to have it spin around and and pick up a ball or a cube, whatever. So just go ahead and make a cube. Okay, there is a little issue when you animate this thing, and I'll explain what it is in a second. Make sure that you have this window open. Window hypergraph scene hierarchy. So it's window hypergraph scene hierarchy. There's a neat little thing you could do if you want is you could click on this one right here. This is dual view. And you could change this. Go to panels. Panel. And we could go to we want the uh, hypergraph. Right there. So now we have a dual view with the hypergraph. This is pretty useful. So now it's there. We don't have to keep going back and forth. We can animate and do our thing here, okay? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, first thing, is make sure one frame one. Highlight everything, every object here in this outliner and hit S. It'll say result. Mine says 170. The reason why you don't just want to select one is because you're going to have problems with tweening. So just select that. That's the first frame. Let's go to the fifth frame. And we're going to select the base joint here. And we're going to rotate this just a bit. Maybe about there. Highlight everything again. And then hit us. So we have this right now, okay? Now we're going to go to about, I don't know, 8. And we're going to go to our, let's see, what joint here? Our knee joint. And we're going to rotate this down like that. Okay, we could even rotate it over. No, don't do that. Just rotate it down like that, okay? There you go. Highlight everything and then hit S again. So let's test it out, just scrub through. So far so good. Now let's go to frame 12. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select the base joint again and we're just going to rotate it over and we're going to open up both of the finger joints. Finger 1 joint, we're going to rotate that. Finger 2 joint, we're going to go ahead and rotate that. Highlight everything. And then hit us. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Computer's a little slow here. OK. Now we're going to go to 15. And we're going to select the hip joint. Rotate it down. That's good. Select the finger one and finger two joints and bring them in. We want the joint. And bring that one in. Highlight everything again. And then hit S. Okay, and there you go. Let's see what that looks like. Good. Okay, now we're going to go to 20. We're going to grab the knee joint. Rotate that up. And then hit it. And highlight everything. Actually, let's grab the box as well. This isn't going to work, right? We're going to have to make some adjustments here. I'll explain. Now highlight everything. And then hit us. You're going to see that the box actually looks pretty good. You see how the screen's moving here? This is pretty neat. This is not what I wanted to do. It's because I accidentally selected this camera. And as I'm rotating the camera around, I'm actually I'm actually animating the camera movement. So check that out. If I hit play, see that? It looks pretty neat, but that's that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. That's okay. Okay, I'm running low on frames here. So I'm going to go to this, and I'm going to put in like 50. 
and um, I'm just going to go to frame 23 and select the knee joint. That's the knee. Let's go straight up here. Follow this. Up, 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 up to the knee joint right there. And I'm going to rotate this like that. Then I'm going to highlight everything. Actually, I'm going to now I'm going to make the box fly. I'm going to highlight everything and then hit S. See, that looks pretty good. And then what you could do is you could possibly go to here. Maybe go to... Uh, I stopped at 23. Let's go to 26. Hit S. 31. We'll start doing this. S. 37. Kind of annoying that we have to do this every time, but no big deal. Have a flip a little. S. 43. Have it flip a little bit more. You guys already know how to do this. I'm just going through this quickly. And then we'll go ahead and hit S. And if we want, we could actually go to here. And move the camera like that. And hit S. See that? How it zooms like that? It actually looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. I can show you guys how to animate cameras later. That's it. We're all done. Your assignment is going to be to create two of these robots and have them play catch with a, a ball. Okay? Hopefully that was helpful.